welcome to another episode of Easy Me Reviews Me. This time, I do want to say ahead of time, there will be spoilers of what I'm going... That scared the crap out of me. Nope, again. Oh my god, it's so cute! What is that? No, 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 <laughs> no way. Easy Me Reviews Me! Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Easy Me Reviews Me. This episode, I've decided to review a movie that has been out recently. I do want to say ahead of time there will be spoilers due to this movie and this movie is Full Metal Alchemist, the one that is live action done by Warner Brothers and I've been wanting to see this. Thankfully, I have Netflix. So, let's go on to review. I, as I said earlier, there is spoilers. So if you do not want anything spoiled, don't watch this. Stop. Go watch it. Maybe it's on YouTube. Maybe it's somewhere on the internet. Just watch it. Are they gone? Are they? Is everyone that did not, you know... Alright. I warned you guys. Here comes the spoilers. Alright. So... I sadly wrote notes during the whole thing, but, okay, so, it was good. It was a good movie. I actually calmed down after the whole hype, it's later on in the day, but other than that, I liked it. The costumes for everything were amazing, detailed, well done, and really good. They have a few of my favorite characters in it, and not some not so much, or at least one. So it was pretty interesting of how they uh, went against it. It kind of was like a bunch of the episodes smashed into one, uh, but they didn't complete it. So some of the characters that I did see, there was of course Ed and Alphonse, no duh. And they did show uh, Al their, their mom. Uh, Winry was in it, Roy Mustang, Risa Hawkeye, lover, uh, Lust, Envy, Gluttony, Creepy, um, they didn't, uh, let's see, who else did they have? Uh, Shell Tucker, I hate him, um, let's see, Shell Tucker, Nina, Alexander, of course, they had Hughes, they had... Lieutenant Ross, and they had Hugh's wife, who they had pregnant and didn't have the daughter, so they didn't do the dramatic, look at my beautiful daughter, look at her. That kind of upset me. Since I just started talking about characters that are not there, uh, Fear Bradley wasn't even mentioned, uh, Scar didn't show up. Uh, some of the other homunculus in the pier, uh, like, uh, Pride, Sloth, and a few others. Oh yeah! My favorite dramatic passed down through the Armstrong family, he wasn't there! And I wanted that! He wasn't there! I was just like, how? Do you skip that completely? Seriously? Why? Um, okay. What else did they do? Um... Alright. The order that they kind of did it, it was pretty interesting and like slow rate of how it began, which of course is how the anime originally kind of begins with the stupid annoying priest that we all hate. I can make anything appear out of a stone and nope. So instead, so instead of Chimera, he creates stone beings? Stone monster? It was weird. But it was cool how it was done. That, uh, it was like seamless. Very seamless. I didn't see anything. Uh, let's see. Then it went to kind of like the usual route where you have, uh, Shell Tucker. I would suggest bringing out tissues. They also did something very interesting with Shell Tucker. Of he had another ability since he is the sewing 
uh, alchemist that he had some other ability ish connected to it, which kind of made me think cool. However, then they kind of mixed two areas where the whole scar incident was mixed with the Shell Tucker stuff. So we have Alphonse thinking he's fake. That was interesting, an interesting way, but I felt really sad that um, Scar wasn't in it because I kind of like that character, especially in the Brotherhood version where J. Michael Tatum is Scar. I'm still upset that uh, Hugh's wife does not have the kid already. No, she's pregnant, so let's make the feels even more dramatic of, oh, she's now going to be a mother soon with no husband. Oops, I spoiled that. Ah, I did say spoilers. So, yeah, we continue on trying to find them. The lab, philosophy, there's like segments of the Brotherhood that you recognize being shown up in it, as I said, the lab, and also uh, Dr. Marco, is that I said that right? Dr. Marco appears. Um, it was pretty interesting how that was done. And then when they find out where the lab is, oh god. Ugh. Then the rest kind of got shoved into one thing. It's like, what? Uh, I really feel like I shouldn't spoil the ending um, yet. There's some parts I wish they could have done more. Uh, like, with Envy, I wished he lasted or was more epic in his thing instead of what they did. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Um, but like, okay, Lust was the main focus of the homunculus, of course. Um, it was pretty well done, though. I'm rambling, but I still love it. Oh yeah! You know how all the fans love Hughes and then we cried at Hughes' death and how it was pinned on Lieutenant Ross? Yeah, no, they changed the person who they kill, who kills Hughes. It's, well, of course, it's still Envy, guys. It's still Envy. If they didn't have it being Envy, we would be pissed off and upset. However, the form that he takes is not Lieutenant Ross. Well, he does do that later, but let's make it even more feels for Hughes and oh my best friend Roy. And then he goes to try to, you know, take him out. Nope. Hi, it's your wife. Nope. At least that was still there. That was still done. But why Roy? Why? It would make more sense if it was Ross. But of course how they introduced Lieutenant Ross kind of made it sadder. Uh, uh, there's so much to happen. Oh yeah! Apparently Sh the re- like, so yeah, we know in the Brotherhood version what happens to Shallow Tucker because Scar did it. Uh, but in this case, no! The douche lives. And yeah, I'm gonna try to not, you know, tell the rest because it's just like, wait, what happened? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, but it was still good. It was really still good. Uh, oh yeah, every time I look at um, another thing that kept bothering me was uh, Winry, the actress's Winry. Amazing job, but every time I looked at her face it kind of reminded me of, uh, if you're a 90s person you would understand, but there's a uh, actress, Lindsay, where is it, I don't know, Lindsay, Lindsay something. I have to put two faces here, but shh, it's like it's like the actress and Lindsay are like separated 
twins from birth or something. I don't know. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we have? But yeah, that that still bothers me, but the actors did an amazing job. They did a good job. Um, Edward Elric. The actor who is Edward Elric. I don't know his name, but... He did a really good job. There was a good amount of comedy about not overly doing it. Like, but because I wanted to keep it more focused, like serious, but it was still like, you know, flip flop ish, a little bit. But it was still good. It was still good. The actors are good. I wanted, though, Alphonse to have, you know, more of his younger voice. But it definitely did sound like slightly younger than the Edward Elric actor. There was a lot of blood, but of course there is a lot of blood in Full Metal Alchemist. So of course, <laughs> what are you gonna do when there's human transmutation and all that stuff going on? Yeah! Oh, right! And one more little spoil- well, no, not little, but big. They had- I, I'm not gonna tell how it looked because you gotta see it for yourself. But they showed the door of truth uh, in one of the weird reenactment flashback thing. But it was so good. I mean, they even had the one that is known as God or the truth or the answer, the being. Oh gosh. I, they, they could have defined it a little bit better, but, but how the effect for it and the being, really spot on. I loved it. It was really good. Um, so I think that's all for my review. There's, yeah, uh, without spoiling the ending because that would ruin everything, but I did spoil like everything else. So I think that's it for my review. I like the Fullmetal Alchemist live action. I still though support the anime and the manga because they're still awesome. And to all you envy lovers, <laughs> let's just continue supporting Fullmetal Alchemist and you know, let's see what happens with Japan and see how many more live action movies they'll come out with. So until next time, Johnny. Thank you so much for watching! If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. If you want to see more, you can click the box on the left which leads to the last episode, or click the box on the right to see the latest Let's Voice Act series!